All right, so it was requested that I uh, do a quick, uh, either get some better pictures or uh, do some video on the uh, on the z-axis. So I'll just kind of go over this real quick. Right now, it's just setting up on there, uh, despite the screws actually being there it's not um, secured this is the lower mount the nut mount that is attached to the spindle head it's attached by that uh, 10 millimeter and that 6 millimeter the 10 millimeter is what the torsion arm assembly originally went to and then it comes up to this uh, assembly right here and this goes all the way across the top and folds around the back and then this is motor spacer obviously between here and the motor now the reason it's not uh, currently attached is there's a couple tweaks that I'm going to do to it um, as you can see it does not fully extend uh, across there so I'll be uh, changing that out and I, at some point in time I'm gonna I will actually take and drill one more center hole but these two screws right there actually are uh, are pretty good I mean they do their job nicely I don't know if I can actually get a good picture back there They actually do pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty solid on there. And there'd be all these, like I said, I'll put that one more uh, drill and tap screw on the bottom, and it'll be uh, perfect. Also, this uh, this assembly here is coming off. I described in one other video. Uh, this assembly here is coming off in a. Uh, three phase, uh, I believe it's 24,000 RPM spindle is going there. So that should be nice. Um, let's see here. So I went digging around, I could not find my chuck, my R8 chuck. I ended up having to order a R8 uh, JT 33 taper adapter so I can actually get some drilling done and get that uh, tooling plate mounted up I got a few things I need to should do anyway I'd also like to get my coolant wash down finished finally the uh, to do that I really have to a get these covered up I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to print out a part to basically cover this section with lips on it. I think that would be the easiest thing because I can print it uh, fairly easily. Fla flanged up lips back here. Basically make the whole thing kind of slope up this way to an extent and cover the wiring and stuff we can go all the way forward and still clear everything I'm still still debating what to do with the back still debating that I considered just a some type of metal shield to kind of wrap around that ball screws to divert everything down Again, it's like uh, danged if you do, danged if you don't. I'll have to look on Harbor Freight and see if I can, well, I mean, it'll be six weeks for a replacement uh, bellow. So if you got any sources for that bellowing material, please let me know.
anyway that's that that's the z uh, we're good to go